If you visited Japan, you would realize that onsen is a big part of the Japanese culture. Hakone is a town famous for its hot spring resorts, breathtaking views to Mount Fuji, a town you could easily fall in love with. But if you dive deeper, you would understand why Hakone has become a traveler's destination. So in today's episode, we're going to share some of the best things to do here on your Hakone day trip. If you're traveling down to Hakone, you would most likely take the Shinkansen to Odawara Station. Or if you're traveling from Tokyo, the romance car direct from Shinjuku to Odawara Station. So we just got on the Shinkansen at Odawara Station and you basically have to switch to Hakone Tozan line. So depending where you stay, but today we actually stay in Gora and we're gonna enjoy our private onsen. Let's go! Here at Odawara Station, you can also purchase your Hakone free pass, which covers two days of unlimited transport all around Hakone. Perfect if you're staying overnight like we are to enjoy the hot springs and other activities around Hakone. We're in Hakone Yumoto Station right now. This is where we switch to platform 3 to get to Gora. So we gotta hop on another train. I'm kind of hungry, really, really hungry right now. This is what happens when we have 15 minutes to spare. <laughs> we go shopping for food. All right, so we just arrived here at Gora. It's eight o'clock at night and I'm starving. I'm not sure what's open. Looks like a lot of the shops here are closed. It's so dark here <laughs> and freezing cold. And we haven't had dinner too. Yeah. And nothing's open around here. See, everything's closed. <laughs> but <laughs> I guess the vending machine's still around. <laughs> so we just checked in our hotel at Gora Canon. Everything's closed, but luckily just next door to our hotel there is some vending machine that sells hot food, so we are ready to eat something. Anything to be honest. Frozen, hot meal, whatever. Just eat. <laughs> just eat indeed. <laughs> Most hotels in Hakone are equipped with onsen facilities. But tonight we are staying at Gora Canon as they were within our budget range and also has two private onsens for their in-house guests. So if you're in Hakone, don't forget to try the onsen because that's what they're famous for. So right now we are up and early. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. We're about to take the train down two stops down and we're gonna take the bus down to Hakone Shrine. You gotta be down there early because we wanna get some great footage. You know, when there's less tourists right now, it's super cold as well. The sun is coming out here just right behind me and it's just beautiful. What a magnificent sight. It's almost 7.30 in the morning. We're about to head down to Hakone Shrine. So you want to get off at Kowakudani Station from Gora. And then right here next to me, there's a bus stop that takes you to Hakone. So we're just waiting for the bus right now. Damn, it's cold. There are a few routes to take when exploring Hakone. But if you're a first timer and an early bird like myself, take the bus at Kowakudani Station down to Jinja Eriguchi. It's a 30 minute ride. So one of the great perks of coming in early is that it's so peaceful. There's almost no one here and you just have this serene, peaceful feeling to the actual place because you kind of have it by yourself. Wow.
As you track further uphill, you'll discover the Hakone Shrine. But before entering the shrine, you'd purify yourself. Hold the ladle with your right hand to wash your left, and then rinse your right, and finally rinse your mouth. And this is the Temizu ritual. When paying respect to a shrine, you start by bowing, gently tossing the coin, ringing the bell twice, bow twice, followed by two claps with your left hand slightly in front. Pay your respect and a final bow. You see the queue behind me? This is what happened if you don't come really early. And this is only 9.40 in the morning. Imagine later on in the afternoon. Yo, this is Ninja Helmi. We are now at the pier and about to get on the pirate ship. Down from the shrine by Lake Ashi, you'll find a pirate ship. The first ship leaves this port around 10 a.m. bound for Togendai port. So get there early. And if you bought the Hakone free pass earlier, then it's a free ride. This is a scenic that made a ride to Togendai. So enjoy the mountainous and beautiful landscape from the top of the pirate deck. That's where we were before. From Togenda, you can continue your journey up to Owakudani by taking the Hakone ropeway up. So we are now on the cable car off to Owakudani. Someone scared of the high. A little bit, a little bit, but it's still pretty low right now. Owakudani is an active volcanic valley with sulfur vents. It is also one of the best viewpoints to see Mount Fuji. Wow, check that out! We just got off the cable car here at Owakudani and check out the volcanic smoke there. You can smell the sulfur and the iron. It's crazy! This is an active volcano apparently. But this is also the place where you can get the black egg that increases 7 years of your life. Hmm, that looks like a quest for me and Helmi to find. We'll find out where it is now. Ta-da! I've got the black egg. It's still warm. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. Seven years of my life extended. That means I can keep eating great, delicious food. In this gift area, you can buy plushies, you can buy postcard, you can buy magnets, you can buy everything including food and also black egg that is also a dessert, like a chocolate dessert. But anyway, this is what we're gonna try today with Help Me. Mm. This store is actually just outside of the gift store area. So, let's go eat this. Look at that, it's so black. <laughs> well, the reason for this is because they cooked it in natural hot spring and after that they take it out and then they put it in again and boil it again in sulfur. That's why you get part of the black coating. But it's actually a normal chicken egg so no worries, it's actually safe. You do get a pack of five though but don't eat all five of them, just eat one of them. It'll extend your life for seven years. Let's go eat this. <sighs> Look at that. That's just a normal egg right there. Good old egg, good old chicken egg. This is actually just a chicken egg, really. But um, yeah, it's special because it adds seven years to your life. Oh my gosh, we are so blessed today. I thought we couldn't see it, but the fog's clearing up. But behind me here is Mount Fuji. Absolutely gorgeous view from up here. Wow. What a view, right? Worth it to wake up early in the morning? Definitely, definitely. If you're coming down here to Hakone for the first time, we definitely recommend the route that we took this morning. It's definitely one of the best to do the reverse route back down Agora. Definitely, you got that stillness and peacefulness, calm, serenity feeling at the Hakone Shrine, and you take the pirate trip, Arr, you know, <laughs> it's for some sightseeing around the lake, and then you get the cable car, and then you eat some black egg, and then you're up here. Wow. So now it's time for some lunch.
and you take this route at around this hour, which is around 1.30 in the afternoon. We are back here in Gora, and I hope you enjoyed today's travel guide of Hakone. There's so much things to do here. There's open air museum, there's a theme park, a hot spring theme park, crazy, right? There's really abundance of stuff to do here. Now, if you're coming down the first time here, make sure to spend at least two days. I think that's well worth it for your itinerary to really explore Hakone. But as always, if you enjoyed today's episode, punch that like button, subscribe because it's free, and why not hit the notification button because that's gonna really help us to create more future episodes like this for you guys. So until next time, sayonara. Ninja Helmi signing out. See you later. <laughs>